HWCA coaches and community, thank you for joining today's feature as we talk about stress. Now, this is one of my favorite things to talk about because while it's widely acknowledged, an understanding of stress to the fullest extent that most people are dealing with it is, is mis misunderstood. And I think it is really, um, it's not emphasized. People don't understand actually the immense capacity that we have to change our health and wellness in all things by understanding the types of stresses that we deal with and the amount and what it's doing to our bodies. So on a basic level, you guys, stress is the body in, there's a sympathetic dominant state and a parasympathetic dominant state, right? So sympathetic dominant is when the body is reactive or producing something. It's like what you would say if you're in a, a fight or flight mode, if something scares you, the body's gonna take all its resources, it's gonna take its blood and you're, it's gonna pump your heart and it's gonna shove it to the area. It's gonna take it away from things such as your gut, such as other organs that need to, to digest, to rest and to function. And it's gonna put it to the task at hand, which is running from the attack, dealing with the situation or whatever, right? Well, in our modern environment, we have so many stressors that are more than just emotional and mental. They're chemical, they're environmental, they're stressors, and we're living in a constant state of sympathetic dominance versus parasympathetic dominance. We can't get into our rest and digest state, our restorative place that the body needs to put itself back together, to repair, to detoxify, to, to grow and to strengthen and to, to fight viruses and illness and all those things because we're stuck in the state of stress. Our, our functions aren't happening properly because of where we're at. So it's really, really important. I know that when we train our coaches, we, we bring in the stress strategy mindset piece of the course, and it goes over stress and prevention and what we call a four point stress strategy technique. Um, I can't give all that to you because that's what my coaches do. They utilize this and they specialize in training people through this for individual wellness and for kind of all aspects of life for not only dealing with the stresses that we have right now, but for compensating for what, um, you know, the damage that's been done and trying to offset in work in prevention to deal more with what we're faced with. So today's feature, I did a really cool thing. For the first time I went and I tried a, uh, a sound bath meditation. Now meditation is a, is a pretty key component. It's, it's one of the options that we can give people that it does amazing things for our, our overall stress responses. But I was invited to join Cindy Ray, who's a Chopra Center trained meditation instructor, health coach herself, um, massage therapist, all, all the works. And I was able to take part in one of her programs for a day, one of her guided meditation sound baths. And it was an amazing opportunity. And here's a little clip of some of the things, um, some footage from some of the events. So I'm about to go in. We're going to start in 15 minutes. I'm going to go in and set up early and figure out what I need to do and say hi to everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I know I started out the morning with chaos, so my nerves are already a little shot going in this, so this would be a really good test as to, you know, how well that works. My awesome boyfriend was was kind enough to take my boys today so that I could be here, and getting them out the door was a feat in itself. So, yeah, like I said, my nerves are a little, my mom nerves are a little crazy right now, but... I think I'm ready to meditate. I might not, I maybe shouldn't have had coffee today, but too late for that. So I didn't have too much coffee. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm excited. Wish me luck. We'll see. We'll see what comes out of this room today. Then I'm going to teach you not just a simple five tools to help you with anxiety or any um, depression, but a lifestyle concept that can create a healthier, happier life and help you to build your future. And at the end, I might walk around with a mist and just spray it over you. So now just start getting comfortable, sinking into your space, adjusting. And then just settle into your breathing. I'm grateful that you all were able to experience that. And then before you lose any more moments in your life, remember these tools that you can use any day when you wanna change your emotional state. So as you can see, it was peaceful, it was relaxing, it was spa-like, it was informative, it was all the things that you would imagine it would be. What I didn't expect, however, was what came after the event. 
Now, I preach this all day long, but I will be honest that I, I run really high octane. I, I'm a doer, I'm energetic, I like empowering people. Um, the calm down, the peaceful stuff, making time for yoga and meditation and all the things I preach is my challenge. That is way harder for me as a person. So this was a great opportunity to almost schedule it in my schedule and put it in somebody else's hands and see what happens. One thing I didn't expect, even of my education and all the things that I know correlate with meditation and and these types of, of, of therapies, um, what I didn't expect is I actually left this session really jazzed. Like I'd had a lot of coffee, which was weird. And it wasn't until, you know, I came out of it and we're, I was driving home. Um, and I was like, well, this is weird. Um, the ironic part though was after that, I sort of evened out and it lasted like a whole weekend. It was the first time in multiple weeks that I had actually sat back and kind of just maintained almost a, an emotional homeostasis and a mental homeostasis. And for me, what I do is I, I have polar opposite pieces of my life. It's very compartmentalized. I'm a single mom. So when I'm momming, I have to focus hundred percent. And that's crazy. I got two crazy boys who I love with all my heart, but it requires a lot of energy when I'm doing work. It has to be done with, I barely come up for air during my work hours. It is, it is completely it is time blocked and it is, I put my 100% effort into it because I, so that I can go home and be mom, right? Then I have my workout time, I, we, we prep our food so that my kids can eat healthy a lot so we can all eat healthy as a family. I have my, my relationship time, um, my time for philanthropy and giving back, but all of that is really scheduled. So for me to take that time to really restore is more challenging for me and to even just come down. Even if I have the moment, my body gets used to operating up here, as I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to, depending on what kind of stress is. Even if it's positive stress, it's exciting stress. We love what we do, right? But we get used to operating really, really high. So what was so cool is it didn't bring me down into a depressive state. It brought me down into a focused place, a place where I could sit back and actually be more present than I had been for a long time. And I had been conscious of, of this piece in my life and, and desiring to be more present and desiring to slow down a bit, but I was still struggling kind of with making it happen. You really, it's a switch in the body and the brain that you really have to train to turn on. So I was just so impressed that this one session had that effect over me for at least 48 hours. I went into my next work week on fire. Um, I was more focused with my kids and honestly, it set the stage for now things that I need to do continuously to try and get back to that place because now I can remember it. So for you guys, um, these are definitely things to try don't hesitate to try new things. Don't be freaked out about what they're about. Put it in someone else's hands. Go enjoy something like this for a day, an event or a therapy or specialized massage or all of the above because your stress is not worth your hard work for your healthy diet. You cannot, you cannot out diet a high stress level. You can't out run, out work out, out lift a high stress level. None of that will ever work. So we have to, we are just as affected by the stress and, and imbalances in our life as we are what we're eating and how we're moving. So I hope you guys took some fun stuff from this video. Um, follow us um, on YouTube, subscribe to hwcacoach.com for more info on our trainings and our elite health coach certifications. Find us at hwcacoach.com. You can follow me and all the cool stuff that I do at coachbritsvision.com. Thanks again.